The next molecule we're going to look at is boron trihydride, BH3. Uh, and this is, uh, again, if we draw the Lewis structure for this molecule, we get a trigonal planar uh, structure, right? So if we use the rules you've learned previously, this should have 120 degree angles between the bonds. Uh, and again, if we look at just the p orbitals and s orbitals on the boron, there's no way to create this geometry, right? P orbitals are all 90 degrees away from each other. Uh, and so now what we're going to do is combine our 2s, combine the 2s and two of our 2p orbitals. Right, so if we take our s orbital like this, and then our p orbital this direction and this direction, and we're going to add all these together. We'll add and subtract. So if we take three, three orbitals in, we get three orbitals out. And these will make what are known as sp2 hybrid orbitals. And the mathematical functions that describe these, we have psi1, psi2, psi3. And if we combine these with proper symmetry, we get one over square root of three times the two s orbital plus square root of two thirds of the two p z orbital. All right, so if we take x to be this direction and z to be this direction, uh, then we have one over square root of three two s orbital plus, sorry, minus Uh, 1 over square root of 6 of the 2pz plus 1 over square root of 2, 2px. And it's not critical that you remember these you know, exact expressions uh, and whatnot. Uh, this is just to show you that these have a mathematical basis. Uh, and then we get 1 over square root of 3, 2s, uh, minus 1 over square root of 6 of the 2pz plus... Right, so minus 1 over square root of 2, 2 px. And what do these look like? So similar to the uh, sp hybrid orbitals, we'll end up with uh, one lobe that's very large in one direction and, and a smaller lobe on the other side. And same thing here. And these orbitals are oriented at angles of 120 degrees. And so this, so we get, if we put in three or, orbitals, these are the three orbitals we get out, psi 1, psi 2, and psi 3. Uh, and these are our sp2 hybrid orbitals. And so these orbitals are going to, these orbitals on the boron atom are going to combine with the s orbitals, the 1s orbitals on the hydrogen atom, to make our sigma bonding and anti-bonding orbitals uh, and form the bonds that uh, occur between our boron and our different hydrogen atoms.